Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. Today I wanted to share with you a quick tip. Not going to keep you long, but I had an influx of people with whom I have been doing a lot of work on their dating profiles, writing answers to prompts, editing pictures and the like. We're doing the whole dating profile overhaul basically and I'm doing a lot of them and I thought I would piece together the must have photos and then send it out to everybody. I thought I would send it out to you here today, me to you. If that's interesting, it could be helpful to you. Stick around because that's what's on the agenda. I should warn you ahead of time that some of them have inspired songs in me. So if I break into song, don't be alarmed, don't jump. It's just me going. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. <laughs> I should probably mention it's two o'clock in the morning while I'm filming this. So <laughs> it's your smiling photo. We need a headshot. Basically what you're seeing of me right now, but like this much of on the sides would be fantastic. And we get to see that you have teeth, hopefully a lot of them, a whole mouthful, ideal, but show what you've got and make sure they're white as we've discussed numerous times, but your smiling photo, that's typically number one and it's imperative you have one. It's a headshot and we get to see you being happy, being gleeful and sending out good vibes with your smile. Number, number two I describe as, would you do this with me? And it's a picture of you doing something that you enjoy, something that you hope when you meet a partner that you'd have company doing. So could be you inflating the tire on your bicycle, hoping that when you do have a partner, they'd want to cycle with you on Sunday afternoons in the park. This could be a lifestyle photo. This could be you at the beach or at a family get together, whatever you consider things that drop people into a moment in your life as it is now and or highlight a hobby would be great here. Throwing in a little piece of advice here, you're not wearing sunglasses in any of these. That's what friends are for. Oh, sorry about that. This one is to show that you do have a social life. You do have friends. We're not gonna focus on them. They're gonna have to be in the background if you get this photo. They can't be up front where we don't know which one you are, but this shows that you can be in public amongst humans. You are fit and tolerable in human uh, areas of the world. You are accepted by others of humankind. It's just a picture with other people. It kind of livens the shot up and lets people know that you get out of your house in case many of your photos are indoors or all by yourself or God forbid all selfies. No, don't. You are allowed one selfie in all of these photos. That is the small helpful hint I will interject here for you. Number three, I'm good at something, is what I call this one. And that would be in the same vein as the one with your hobby and your lifestyle photos. This is also something that you enjoy doing. It's you engaged in some type of an activity, typically. The tip here is you don't have to actually be good at it. You just have to enjoy it. You gotta cut loose, foot loose. Sorry about that. It just had to be done, but this photograph is not one that's super serious. It's a little bit more lighthearted from the rest. It's you being a little bit silly, sillier than what you are. I mean, I don't want you, huh? we don't need this photo. <laughs> but we do want something more lighthearted, uh, humorous. This is a very important picture because often it's the one that allows people to comment on something. It's unique, weird, interesting, funny, and it allow, gives people something to grab onto to make a comment or ask a question when they reach out to you. This is your less serious side, just like Footloose, but not. All of me, why not take all of me? Oh yeah, there you are, a full body shot. Get to see all of you in all your glory, head to toe. Top to bottom, side to side, you're, you're in this picture and we get to know what that all looks like. Hopefully, you are the smart cookie who is putting up a full body shot that looks exactly like the person that's going to walk through those doors and meet this person. Because, you know, 
putting up pictures that are outdated, that are of somebody else. You've all heard that story. Oh, you haven't heard that story? I'll throw it in here. The story is my gal, my client, we're working together. She goes out on a date of her own while we're working together. So this is not a match I've set up. This is her meeting somebody that she uh, procured for herself on the interwebs. And she goes to meet him at a little club lounge, which is lovely in the evening on a Thursday night. She's sitting at the bar waiting for him to show up and he comes up to her and he says, I change her name in the story every time I tell it, by the way. He comes up to her and he says, oh, Sarah? And she said, yeah. He goes, oh, I'm Steve. She said, no, you're not Steve. He goes, yeah, I'm Steve. She goes, no, you're not Steve. He goes, yes, I'm Steve. I'm meeting you here. Nice to meet you. She said, I saw the profile pictures. You're not Steve. And he said, oh, oh, the profile pictures. No, those aren't me. Those are my nephew. These pictures are of you, they look like you, and they look very much, very similar, almost exactly like what you will look like when you walk through those doors and arrive to meet this date of yours. I want to share with you briefly that much of the negative reviews I get about dating apps that come to me from coaching clients is that they're disappointed in their matches because people don't look like their pictures. We need to stop doing this. It's not helping anybody. A quick reminder that if you are looking to actually meet somebody, like show up on a date, if your intention being on the dating app is to meet someone eventually, to show up somewhere and enjoy their company and perhaps connect with them so that there could be a future relationship, you're going to have to show up. So you're just cutting off your nose to spite your face if the pictures don't look like you. The last thing you want, and I'm talking to both men and women, the last thing you want is to walk in and people to be like, oh, not as good looking as their photos. You want to be the opposite of that. You want to walk into a date and have people go, oh, wow, you're even prettier or you're a better looking guy in person than you were in your photographs. And then you can say, oh, yeah, I'm not very photogenic. <laughs> so you want your photos to be good enough to get you the date, but you want to be even more delightful to look at in person than those photos. That's my helpful tip there. It really would solve the dating app issue for so many people if we all showed up looking like our photographs. Also a reminder to use the maximum amount of photos allowed on the app or the dating um, site that you're using. The more opportunities people have to see you in different situations, the more likely that you do look like your pictures. You know, you see uh, two pictures of somebody, you have to use a lot of imagination to fill in the blanks. And if you're like me, you're filling in the blanks with George Clooney attributes. You want to fill in those blanks with reality because that's who's coming. And we wouldn't want George anyway. He's busy in Italy with his wife and shooting movies. You know, he never takes out the garbage is what I've heard about him. And there you have it. Those are just a couple dating profile photo tips for you. And since I was sharing them elsewhere, I thought I'd share them with you. I hope they were helpful. I hope that you'll subscribe to the channel so that we can hang out and share, swap some more information very soon maybe later this week or next week. Don't forget to grab some of the freebies from down in my description box, and I'll look forward to seeing you back here again soon. Until next time, thank you again for being here, and have a good one.